Welcome back everyone. I'm sure a lot of you have been seeing and wondering how you can customize your lock screen on your iPhone. Now you do have to be on iOS 16 to do this. If iOS 16 is out by the time you're watching this video, all you have to do is go ahead and make your way over to your you know, iPhone settings here. You wanna click on general, you wanna click software update, which is right here. If you do see iOS 16, just make sure you install it. If you're already on iOS 16, then you're good to go. But if you don't see it, you wanna install it and you should be good to go at that point. If it's not installed, then just wait until it comes out officially. You don't have to install the beta, just wait until it comes out officially. So once you go ahead and make your way over to your lock screen, all you wanna do is you want to hold down on the lock screen just like that. If you have force touch, you can force touch on the lock screen, but if not, just lightly hold down on the front of your lock screen like this, and it'll come into this panel. Now, all you have to do here is go and click on the customize button down here, and you'll basically be able to get into a customizability panel of your specific iPhone. Now, if you don't see, or if you get into a different panel, I'll just go and demonstrate here too. You can go ahead and click on the plus button on the side. You can swipe between pages. You can click on the plus button down here, and it will eventually come into this little panel. Now what this panel will allow you to do is it'll allow you to go ahead and choose a bunch of different panels you can go ahead and modify. So you can go ahead and bring in a different wallpaper if you want to by clicking on photos there. And let's say I wanted to go ahead and use this as my wallpaper. Let's say I just wanted to use a standard iOS 16 wallpaper thing. What's well, going to go ahead and load up that wallpaper as a background. It's going to go ahead and automatically change some things on the background for me as well. So here I can go and click the plus button there. I can go and click on batteries. I can go and bring in a widget if I want to. And what I would recommend doing is scrolling through all the way out here and just seeing which widgets and everything you want to add to your lock screen. Personally, I think something like stocks would be kind of nice to add and maybe something like this thing would be nice to add too. You can't add like a crazy amount of things, but you can add a few different things right there. And that's really all you have to do to, you know, customize the basics of your lock screen. Now you can also go ahead and change up, you know, you can add photos here. You can add a few different natural, you can do natural, you can do black and white. You can click on the three dots down here. You can disable perspective zoom. You can disable depth effect if you want to, but you can also go ahead and click on this little panel up here and change the coloring of everything. So you can go and change the coloring of your font. You can change the diameter and the text and the font of everything else. And that's really all you have to do. At that point, you can go and click done and you will see that you will now have this wallpaper there as your specific lock screen. You can click here and this is your lock screen now. So now if you go and lock your screen, you go and boot it back up. This is what you see. If you want to change it again, you hold it down. You can switch over to a different panel if you want to. Personally, I'll just go back to this one, but that's pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.